Do you have zero big data experience? Do you wanna learn how to do big data analytics? Well, this video is the one for you. In this video, I'm gonna show how I got the big data certification in one month while having zero big data experience to begin with. So from zero big data, from zero data to big data. All right, so what I started with before starting the, um, this journey to getting learning big data is I had all three AWS associate exams. So that's developer associate, uh, well, <laughs> uh, developer associate, sysops um, administrator associate, and what was the third one? Oh, the S Solutions Architect Associate. It's been so long since I've taken those, at least a month or two. Um, but anyways, so you need to have those. You don't really need to have those, honestly. They didn't really help at all. But I mean, it, it would help a little bit, actually. Maybe maybe a little bit. But you want, you want to have like at least a little bit of experience with AWS before you try to get the big data, exp um, big data certification. Because out of all the certifications I currently have, so I also have the security, I search, uh, specialty, so certification, sorry. Out of all of them, I would say the big data one is probably the hardest. And the reason for that is it encompasses a lot of services, like, like all of them do. Actually, it, I feel like it doesn't actually encompass as many services as something like Solutions Architect Associate or like Developer Associate. But the reason it makes it so hard so hard is because the complexities of the specific services for example the services might do a lot of things while maybe like the ones in some of the associate courses you don't, you only need to know a little bit about the the services so some of the services you need to know for the big data certificate certificate is the emr redshift and kinesis those are probably the top three you need to know those services probably inside out know everything about them. Um, some other ones you might need to know are like glue for ETL jobs. You might need to know, you know, like S3 buckets, like where you can store your, your data as well. So what I did to, to prepare, prepare for this exam, so it took me four months to, I'm sorry, not four months, four weeks. <laughs> wow, it didn't take that long, four months. Uh, it took me one month to prepare for it. And the reason for that is because I, I didn't really have the motivation on this certificate, like compared to like the other, the other ones like security and maybe the associates. I had less motivation for big data for some reason. I, maybe it's because I was burnt out. I, I was doing them one after another to get them all. But the, it took me, it, I was trying to take it on the third week. I, I was, went on the website to take it and then the Pearson site was down. And I only take the exams like the day before, or I only sign up for them the day before because I, I don't want to sign up for them in advance because that's a lot of pressure. Because then you have to you have to make sure you know you're, you're going to have to study for it like a week in advance and then you don't really have like a chance to get out of it. I mean, I guess you can cancel it, but I don't know if that's worth the effort there. But so yeah, it took me four weeks. You can probably do it in a lot less especially if you have any big data experience at all. I personally did not. So what you could do is, what I personally did is I took the ACLOD Guru big data course for this. It's a little bit outdated, so I, I wouldn't really take that as your main goal. Or, I mean, your main course. I read probably, most of my time was spent like reading the, the documentation and the frequently asked questions for each of the services. So I would, probably use like a course like Cloud Guru for this course, not as like the main study material, but maybe if you wanted some hands-on material, because they also have like a Redshift course, which was very useful for this. So you could use Cloud Guru. There's also a Linux Academy I use as well. That one was really good for the hands-on material. Had me, had was better with the Internet of Things. Um, and yeah, it was better with the Internet, showed me the Internet of Things better and kind of helped me understand how everything was connected better together. So one, one thing I would also note about the exam is you have to learn a little bit of machine learning to, even though there's already a machine learning course, 
or a machine learning uh, certificate that you can take, which I'm currently trying to take right now. But you kind of need to know machine learning. And like on the exam, there's some weird machine learning questions. I'm like, why, why isn't this on the machine learning course? <laughs> I don't understand, but I guess they go like, kind of like hand in hand. So you need to know like a little machine learning. That's kind of what threw me off on the exam a little bit. But yeah, this is probably the hardest one I've taken this thus far. So make sure you study for it. Um, so yeah, make sure you know EMR, Redshift, Kinesis, all the Kinesis stream types, like fire hose, data streams. Not much on analytics or video streams, honestly, just mainly fire hose and data streams. And you should be good to go to pass this exam. Thanks for watching.